Majority of sales organizations sharing the same problem in that they don't necessarily have a lack of content, it's just that they have a hard time keeping it organized and making it easily accessible in one known central location. In most cases today, curating and consuming the best sales content is not optimized. Salespeople spend way too much time looking for the content while marketing wonders what's helpful versus what isn't. Or even worse, which content is outdated and still being used in communications to prospects and customers. There's just no way for them to know. Our customers need and want a way to easily publish, organize, distribute, and analyze their most valuable content. By properly utilizing SalesHood's content management system, sales organizations of all sizes can keep a clean, organized library of trusted, updated content that shows relevance and ensures confidence in the quality of the content. They can tag the content and push it to the right rep at the right time in their Salesforce opportunities. And they can measure the engagement of the content to correlate it back to productivity. We also support synchronizations with systems like Box, Google Drive, and SharePoint. Do you currently use any of those? Oh, you use Google Drive? That's great, so do we. In a few moments, you're gonna see how easy it is to continue to do so, while also taking advantage of all SalesHood's functionality. So let's start off by logging into SalesHood and going to the library. So as you can see, our library is organized and it's inviting. It's got our branding, our colors. It's also got a bunch of familiar faces. One of the things I like the most about our library is that there's content in here for everybody in the organization. It's not just our sales team. As you can see, we got product resources over here for the product team to organize their content. Marketing's got their folder over here. Some executive broadcast from the E-team. Customer success, where I spend a lot of my time. But let's go jump into the sales playbook and see what the sales team has going on. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the subcategories across the top map back to our sales process. We got pre qual, qual disco, demo trial, mutual plan, and contracts. This is a great best practice as our salespeople know exactly where to go depending on which stage they're at and their deals. So let's go check out the pre qual subcategory. Click into here and look, we got all kinds of stuff to help support us at the pre-qual stage. We've got buyer profile qualification, a huddle around buyer personas, corporate pitch presentation template, getting the power video from our CEO, sales enablement methodology, all kinds of great stuff. Let's go check out another one. In the qual and discovery folder, we have compelling events video, first call qualification guide, and a corporate deck presentation template. Awesome stuff. Underneath the subcategories, we have a couple huddles created by our VP of sales, Nick. One of them is a huddle on Nick's revenue vision for the year, and the other one's around the KPIs that matter. And then down below, we have a couple files that have been synced in from our Google Drive. And our sales teams know that they can come here anytime they want to get the content they need. But let's get to the fun part and show you how we can serve this content up to the right rep at the right time in their deals. We can do this by using the Sales Hood for Salesforce content app. Let's go over to Salesforce and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now I'm a rep and I'm logged into Salesforce and I'm checking out my opportunities for the day. This one happens to be Unified Computing, 600 seats. And you can see it's still in the qualification discovery stage. So as I scroll down here, you'll notice what we've done is we've created a visual force window to host all the valuable content that supports this stage. So we'd expect to see things like first call qualification guide, got a PDF there, first qualification, uh, some tips on a video, getting the power video, you know, corporate presentation, LinkedIn from Google Drive. You know, we support Word documents, any, any file you could want, we support it. And the way the content populates here is based on how we tag it in SalesHood and push it over here based on the stage, the products that we're selling, and the industry that we're selling to. Now you could have whatever three fields you want to reference there, totally up to you. You'll also notice that we have internal facing content, which is just for us as well as public and customer facing content to share with the customers and the prospects. So what happens if we click into one of these? Bam, it takes us back into sales hood. A couple of things I want to point out here. I can see right off the bat that this document has five star rating, which means the field loves it. It's been viewed 45 times. It's got a bunch of comments, which we'll check out in a second. A couple likes 
and two downloads. If I come over here to the right, I can see all the socialization around this document, who's been using it, what they have to say about it, and whether it's a good document for me to use on the deal that I'm currently working. Again, if I use this document and I like it, I have the opportunity to come in here, give it five stars, and add to the socialization of it. As I move my deal along through the different stages of the deal, move it on to demo trial, we'd expect to see the content that supports the demo trial stage. And there you have it. Guided trials, sales hood presentation, custom demonstration tips, demos and trials, all sorts of good stuff, as well as the public customer facing stuff is re regenerated as well. Let's do one more just for fun here. Go into contracts. We'd expect to see commercials, documents, and templates that will help get this deal through the contract stage. So there you go, sales contract templates, MSA, awesome. So let's jump back into sales hood and I'll show you how all this wonderful content got uploaded to our library, tagged and pushed back here. So let's jump back into the sales playbook category here as our VP of sales just reached out to me and told me that he has a new document that he wants to show up at every single stage of the opportunity. He gave me the name of it and he told me that it lived on Google Drive. So I can come up here, click new, and go down to the Google Drive sync. I'm going to add a new document. And the document he wanted me to add was called Tactical Strategic Business Plan. And there it is. Boom, pops up. I have all my tags set up over here. He said every single stage, so I'll select all. And there you go, they're all there. And as you can see, it populated down here at the bottom within sales hood. It's been tagged properly. And so now if I go back into Salesforce and refresh my opportunity, we're going to see that tactical strategic business plan. And sure enough, there it is. Click on it, takes us back into sales hood. I have the ability to say, Nick, And give some feedback to Nick to let him know that this was a very helpful document. So again, I just want to highlight that we are tracking the views, we are tracking the comments and the downloads at the, at the file level. But if we want to take a holistic view into what's working well and what's being engaged in across the whole platform, we can come up here into the report section, select the files tab here. And we're going to have full view into every single file that lives within the system. We have the ability to filter by rep, by file, by tag, by manager when it was activated. We can also look into filtering by date so we can see which documents were hot in Q1 versus Q2 and so on. I want to look at the file name here, filter by file name. I can also go see from this time period which files had the most views versus the most downloads. And then last but not least, I have the ability to export to CSV so I can take this report into further manipulation. So as you can imagine, we're really excited about this and would love nothing more than to be the system all your teams go to to get their most valuable content. And if that's something you're interested in, we want you to know that we'll be with you every step of the way. We've designed a simple eight step implementation guide. These eight steps will assure that we roll out this initiative effectively. First, we're gonna understand the current situation. Then we're gonna analyze and document that current situation. Together, we can build out a plan to strategize how we're going to organize and tag the content. Then we'll set up your library, get your syncs working, and configure the Salesforce plugin. Once we have things up and running, we'll train the publishers and the end users on how to use the system. And last but not least, we'll go deeper on how to measure the engagement of the content to see where we're winning and where we can improve. When would be a good time for us to discuss this further?